Hey, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. This is a wonderful Wednesday evening. Thank you so much. We're Will and Faith Scott. We get to the root health and wellness. And we're here for our 25th episode of Healthy Habits, Healthy Life. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. Yes. We're going to have some fun this evening. I'm glad that you're here and going to take part in us. And uh, me and Queen welcome you. And we never take it for granted that you come into our home and thank you for allowing us to come into your home this evening. So yes. this evening we got a great, great uh, topic we're going to talk about this evening and uh, share your comments, uh, share what you want to say. and It's going to be awesome. Yes. 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 So awesome. if you're all about healthy living and <laughs> connecting with people that are like minded like yourself, that's, that's just right. trying to live this healthy thing, then you are definitely in the right place. Yes, we are. Willing I love to come and inspire and motivate you mm -hmm. to make healthy choices, that's to right. create healthy habits. That's right. To develop that healthy lifestyle that you that are you worthy deserve, of having. You deserve it. And so we love to come and just share whole food plant-based recipes yes. and fun in-home workouts. Yes. And tonight we'll be just having a discussion with you, just mm -hmm. dialoguing, and figuring fun. some things out, yeah. right, about healthy living. So right. we appreciate you joining us. Thank Go ahead so on much, and hit bro. the like button, yes. hit the subscribe button. Um, let's connect. Let's get healthy let's and help. fit and together, fit together. That's okay? Right. That's right. So as usual, Dr. Will always have a wonderful topic oh, where yes. we can talk and dialogue. Yeah, dialogue. Um, yes. And tonight we will be, we're using a new live streaming yes, app, so y'all bear with us <laughs> on this technology thing. Yes. But we're going to start out saying hello to uh, some of our Get to the Root family yes. that's joining us already. Absolutely. So hello hey. there, Mr. Tom. Hey, Tom. Thank you for joining us. It's nice we to see you, We appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much And we have Miss Jody. Hey, How you doing, Ms. darling? Jody. Thank you for joining us. Good we appreciate you, you joining evening. us this yes, evening. So, yes, Dr. Will, what will your topic be tonight? Well, um, tonight we're going to talk about the top 10 weight loss myths. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. Okay. Top 10 weight loss Let's myths. And the beautiful part about that is that you may have heard some myths yourself. So these are the top 10 weight loss myths from Better Nutrition. So Better Nutrition is a, is an actual company out there. They actually look at all the healthy aspects of, of lifestyle changes and things like that. And this is the top 10 of their list. OK, uh -huh. so some of the top 10 on this list. Now we're going to combat a little bit. You know, we're going to have a little a uh, little controversy, if you will. So we're going to mm -hmm. go over it and we're going to explain it and we're going to talk about it. So, you know, at any time, if you have maybe a weight loss myth that you've heard, go on and share it with us. Okay. Let's go on and do some dialogue. OK, so we're going to have fun this evening. All right. Awesome. All right. Good deal. Hey, Don. I see we got Don joining us this evening. Okay. Thank, Thank you Don. so much, Thank Don, you for, joining, for us. joining us. Yes, yes, yes. OK. All right. So here we go. I guess we give it a dive in. Yeah, let's dive in. Okay, let's go on and dive in there. So let's go with what we're going to be talking about. These are the top 10 that Better Nutrition said. They said, um, just walk. All you need to do is walk. And they said that this is a myth. If you just walk, you um, they're saying that this is one of the myths of losing weight. So mm -hmm. just walking, that's a myth. That's mm -hmm. what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Portion control is a myth. Um, do not eat fruits. We want to eliminate sugar. That's mm -hmm. a myth, one of their myths. Uh, the next one is eat in moderation. Um, slow weight loss is best. They say that's a myth. No pain, no gain. Mm -hmm. Diet soda will help you lose weight. Um, you have to get up earlier to hit the gym. Um, you'll be hungry all the time. And weight loss supplements don't work. OK, so like I said, some of these we agree with. Some of these we don't agree with. But we're just going to talk about them. OK, we're going to talk about it. If you have any comments about them, just Go on and chime them in there. We're going to see if we can put it across the screen. OK, so myth number one, uh, just walk. OK, so they're saying that you can lose weight just by walking. And that is true. OK, so that's not really a myth. The reason why they call it a myth is they're saying that you need to do a little bit more to lose weight um, than just walk. And you're going to be able to lose weight by walking. Don't get me wrong, but your body is going to establish itself and it's going to adjust itself very quickly. 
So you always have to challenge your body to do more, okay? So in order to burn energy, which is burning calories, calories are energy, to burn calories, you have to take your body to another higher level. So you always get to a point where you can um, do some type of resistance training with weights, okay? Um, that's number one, is going to build muscles, um, it'll burn fat. Um, we all know that muscle weighs more than fat, so it'll burn it, okay? Um, also, it'll help you to build your bone structure. Um, but what I love most about uh, resistance training or using weight training is that it helps us with our everyday functions, okay, in life. And the reason why that's so important is because as we grow older, as you get older, I'm looking at my picture down here at the bottom, but as we grow older, what happens is, is that you can stumble and you can fall. But if you're strong, your muscles are strong, your bones are strong, you can catch yourself. And when you're not as strong in your muscles and your bones, that's when you topple over and that's when you can hurt yourself really severely by breaking bones and things like that. So mm -hmm. uh, weight training um, really helps to build strong muscles helps to build bone structure, um, and it really helps you to lose weight. So adding weight resistance training into your uh, regimen is something that you can do to also help you to lose weight. So so myth one, they say just walk, you can lose weight, which is somewhat true. Um, however, you need to add a little bit more because your body is going to equilibrate really quickly. It's going to get used to walking, and you need to take your heart rate up and take your your body um, energy level up higher in order to really tap into that weight loss, okay? Because our bodies adjust very, very quickly, mm -hmm. okay? If I could share a comment. Sure. Um, Jody says, you can't out walk a bad diet. That is so, <laughs> so true, Jody. Yeah. So true. So, yeah. yeah, Jody's saying that a lot of people, one of the myths used to be that you could eat anything you want mm -hmm. and just um, you can walk it off or burn it off or work it off. Um, you're not, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. and, and I've had research studies before that showed actually how much your body burns when they eat a certain amount of food. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll find that and I'll bring it to you so you can actually see that. So mm -hmm. they were saying like for medium fried McDonald's, it would take you two and a half hours of continuous exercise to burn off just that one um, uh, French fry, small French fry from McDonald's, two mm -hmm. and a half hours of work, something like that. So, yeah. uh, but I'll bring that to you so you can see it, you know? So yep. uh, we, we have Tom mm -hmm. said, walking is not going to work if you're eating a burger, <laughs> be eating a Burger King every day. That's Amen. True. That's the truth. That's yeah. the truth. So, but I would like to add to that. If sure. you start walking, sometimes healthy habits, because walking is a healthy habit, yes, right? It it's a it's a healthy activity, yes. just walking. Yes. So if someone was to start walking, mm -hmm. I would like to not argue, but just bring out the point that may um, trigger. trigger them to mm -hmm. choose healthier choices, healthier choices right? Yes. Because yes. walking is considered an activity right. uh, or exercise. Right. Um, so sometimes, you know, some of us got to start with the activity yes. of moving our bodies That's to right. help us make better, better choices, choices at the table that's so true. That's, true. that's another way of looking at it but that is a true point you can now cannot out walk a bad diet so absolutely. that is true i agree that with that 100 percent. So, so so true yes absolutely yes and thank you so much for your comments yes and everything. So, definitely uh that's what makes everything gets right when you start really dialing in and bringing your comments to us it makes it all the better that's right yes, that's yes. Right. all right so let's go into myth number two Myth number two. Oh, one of our favorites, portion control. Okay. Eating small amounts of foods will help you lose weight. Okay. All right. Now, like I said, each one of these myths, there's a certain amount of truth to it, but we're going to dive a little deeper into it. Not too much, but just a little deeper into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So does portion control work? Yes, it does work. Okay. However, it's not sustainable. Okay. So portion control works. Everything works, but it's not sustainable, okay? Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because what most people do, they have portion control on food, okay? They, have, they will lower the amount of food that they're eating, uh, but they're not getting, number one, the nutritional value, okay? Um, they're not also getting um, the full effect, the fullness that they're used to having, okay? So um, 
people believe though if they eat a reduced amount of food that they will lose weight and that's okay to a certain degree okay but what's going to happen is is that over a period of time you will start binging and eating more okay mm -hmm. um you will send your body into a catabolic <laughs> state excuse me and once you send your body into that catabolic state, you'll start eating for satisfaction. Your brain's going to open up and tell you you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. You're going to keep eating, eating, eating. Um, so you may do portion control for a certain amount of time, but you're not going to be able to do it over a long period of time. Remember, it's about lifestyle changes, which helps us to maintain successful weight loss and not necessarily just a portion control. You want to be able to do something that you can sustain over a long period of time or over a lifetime. And that's how you can maintain and get good weight loss. So portion control, it is a myth. OK, mm -hmm. it is a myth. So don't believe in portion control because that's right. not what's going to help you to maintain or lose weight for the long term. OK, right. so right. that's that's a very strong key. So there's a um, if I may interject, sure. there's a book by um, Dr. Barbara Rose. Yes. Um, who wrote the yes. book Volume Metrics, mm -hmm. and she talks about how we all, all of us, yes, we all um eat the same, same volume, volume of food, food right. to feel satisfied right. or yeah. to feel full, and uh, regardless of what we're eating, we yeah. all tend to eat the same volume of food. So, to me, I know in my journey, if I felt like I was being deprived if I had to restrict, you know, and do small portions because, you know, we're all used to eating specific volumes of food mm -hmm. and that's different for everybody. But we're all used to eating specific volumes of food yes. to feel satisfied. Absolutely. And the moment you say portion control to me, automatically my brain is like, OK, it's restrictions. Yes. I got, you know, I'm going to yes. starve myself on yes. this. So. So for me, and all of us are different, different yes. strokes of different folks. Yeah, absolutely. Portion control is a setup for a, um, you know, two, three steps backwards, in my opinion. Yeah. Because, again, we all um, eat a specific amount, volume of food to feel satisfied. Absolutely. And if you're not getting, if your stomach isn't getting that stretch That's right. uh, that it looks for to help trigger and tell your brain, hey, you've had enough to eat, yes. then you're just going to keep eating. Yes, you are. Right? And yes, so are. I'm not saying eat to the point of your stomach being distended and you're in pain and, yeah. oh, I'm so full, but I'm just saying yes. to satiety, to, you know, being comfortably full. We That's all right. eat a certain volume of food. And I think if we're not getting that in our lifestyle journey of becoming healthy, right. it can be a setback yes, uh, for, for some of us. So, so um, I just wanted to add that. That's in. great. You know, because what <laughs> Queen was saying is totally true. You know, yeah. I think there are three things actually where it gives your body total comfort when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. And in one was she was saying, when you have the satiation, satiation, you have to have that stretch receptors. They have to be, and you have to meet the nutrition aspects, okay? Because your brain knows what it needs to survive. So if it doesn't get the nutrition that it's looking for, it's mm -hmm. going to keep asking you or telling you um, to continue to eat until it meets each one of those areas, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you understand American diet, you probably never meet those areas. However, you would get too full to the point where you can't eat anymore. But by this time, you've probably eaten about 10,000 or more calories. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and that was what Queen was saying. I was, I was I had down here in my notes but I, when I was doing some research that um, if you're using food as a means um, to lose weight and that's what people use it, food as a means to lose weight. Um, it, I mean, food is used for energy. Mm -hmm. OK. And it's used for nutrition and nutrients. OK. But if it's used for losing weight, then you need to, like Queen would say, look at that biometric book. So you'll start learning a little bit about energy, energy density. density right. um, and Queen is really, really um, versed, well versed in energy density and explaining it and everything. We're going to have her do that uh, one Wednesday. You know, I think that's going to be a great, great topic to, so you can understand the volume of food and how it works in your favor and why someone can eat, um, let's say, um, a peanut butter and jam sandwich or a peanut butter and, and yam sandwich that we used to make in our home, mm -hmm. how that is very energy dense. You know, you look at two tablespoons of peanut butter and I know I'm rambling a little bit, mm -hmm. but I want to share very quickly. Look at two tablespoons of peanut butter is 190 calories. OK, and it's very high energy dense food um, and it's good food for you if you have the natural peanut butter with all the extra additives mm -hmm. in it. 
However, you can see just two tablespoons. And I don't know anybody, at least we didn't use just two tablespoons. We would slather the whole bread until, mm -hmm. and, and if you're like me, I used to slather both sides of the bread. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, your, cal your caloric intake rises very quickly, okay, on a very limited amount. Well, we can eat a pound of broccoli and it's 125 calories, mm -hmm. okay? For now, two pounds of broccoli. I'm, not, I'm sorry, two pounds of broccoli, 125 mm -hmm. calories. Okay. So, but we'll have Queen dialogue about energy density in, in, a, in a future um, episode. Okay. But uh, yeah, we have some comments there. And I saw somebody comment about um, exercising up here. Okay. So if we go back I'm just a little bit, honey, if we can get here. our cursor over here. All yeah. Right. And I think, was that? Is that Misty? Yeah, that was Misty. Yeah, Misty. Yeah, Misty Blue. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Misty. Hey, hey. Oh, you Misty know. Hayes. Misty okay. Hayes. All right. Thanks for all the encouragement. I started uh, 16, 16 days, days ago exercising right. using oh. Beach Body program. Yeah, Beach Body has some amazing yes. programs, and yes. I know it takes 21 days to make yes. a new habit. Yes. That's true. Well, that's and great. Like I said, all of us are different. Yes. Some of us got to start yeah. with the exercise, and some of yes. us like to start with you know the food yes um and I, I would just say like someone said earlier yeah you cannot outwork a bad diet that's but right. if you start with exercise that's i think right. you'll become more conscientious of healthy. making healthy mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. habits mm -hmm. right yes so kudos to you miss i'm hey, so Misty. excited for you yes. hey we were we were beach body oh, folks yes. okay oh, yeah we so, definitely did so so um yeah. kudos to you whatever works for you that's, that's what's right. up that's you're right. moving your body so yeah, yeah. that's totally, awesome totally totally aware with beat body you know yes. and I, we were certified you know um insanity in mm -hmm. instructors mm -hmm. certified in pio we were certified p90x mm -hmm. so we were certified trainers so yes. we were so we we definitely definitely agree with uh the beach body concept as far as your exercises definitely. Go. all right all so right. um let's talk about um our third myth queen so okay. what is the third myth oh no fruit you know i've heard people say that many times you know, particularly so certain diets, you know, they say, hey, don't eat fruit because it has a whole lot of sugar in it. Uh, but one thing I can tell you about the fruit is that uh, fruit is perfectly balanced with sugar. OK, it's a perfect balance of sweetness. OK, it's a natural sweetness. OK, mm -hmm. and it's good for your body. Mm -hmm. OK, um, so that's definitely a lot of people. They say they want to avoid sugar, uh, but I think they're talking about the refined sugars, the mm -hmm. processed sugars, um, not the natural sugars that comes in fruits. OK, and it's even sugars and vegetables. OK, mm -hmm. so so if you're trying to avoid sugar, um, it's probably a tough thing to do. It's just like someone saying they're trying to avoid and don't eat no carbs. Everything has carbohydrates in it. Everything has the, mic the, the macronutrients in them already. There's no way to separate one from the other. Mm -hmm. OK, so when you're eating them, uh, definitely. So, yes. Um, so this is definitely a myth. OK, mm -hmm. um, losing weight. You have to stop eating fruit to lose weight. That is definitely a myth. OK, mm -hmm. so if anybody got anything else to say about that, I think that's enough in itself. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Blue says I refuse any diet that tells me to avoid fruit. Yes. That is so true. Yes. It's like some of the healthiest food. Yes, on, on, the the planet, planet, on the planet, you know, that's and right. uh, yes, there's sugar there, but it's natural sugar, it's, natural. it's unprocessed, that's right, and the fiber in the sugar, right, that's naturally found in fruit causes it to, you know, our bodies to digest it slowly. That's so, right. that's what makes it beautiful. Anything yes. that's whole and sweet, yes, and from nature is. Perfect, perfect, right? So perfect. yeah, I'm with you, Misty. Yes. Refuse any diet that tells you to um yes. avoid fruit. Yeah, and then Most also, definitely. you know, you look at after the fruit. all, fruit yeah. is nature's candy. It is nature's that's candy. That's the real yeah, candy the fruit, real. right? Yes, yes. So yeah. Yeah. way back when, before we started having a whole lot of processed foods, when we were eating vegetables and fruits off the vines, just going out, just hunters and gatherers. Um, that was the sweetness that our palates and on our tongue was looking for. Yes. The, the sweetness from, from the fruits and, and things that we was getting from yes. ber berries and things like that. So yes. That's what we was looking for. But do you also have to understand you have the fiber content in fruit. It's not mm -hmm. just the sugar. People like to try to individualize things in food. They I like to pick it. out one particular yeah. item and say, oh, I can't eat that because it's this. Or That's I can't right. eat that because it's this. But you got to also understand that there's a holistic approach to any food that we eat. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of macro and micronutrients mm -hmm. that we eat and that our bodies need. OK, mm -hmm. so don't just not eat the fruit because you're trying to lose weight. 
uh, because of the sugar content that's in it, but there are other great nutrients in those fruits that we also need. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Plums are amazing. Oh, yes, they are. We yes, they are. We love plums. We so, do. so don't run away from the fruit. No. Fruit is, hey, if you're starting to uh, live a healthy lifestyle, yes. fruit is your candy. It is. All right. It is. I tell my kids they can ask for fruit all day long. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's good it's because good it's all good. It's, it's all, all good. natural, yes. right? Yes. But all that processed sweetness, yes. no. Nah, we don't, we don't, you know, that's what we don't want to thrive on. We right. want to thrive on whole, unprocessed right. sweetness, that's which right. is fruit. Which is in so our thank fruits. goodness for our fruit. Thank we appreciate the comments. Yes. Jody Rose, frozen yes. banana slices are great oh, instead yes. oh, yes. of ice cream. Okay. Yes. All right, I've go. never had like frozen banana slices. I like banana slices. Okay. Yes. We make nice cream all the time, but That's I've right. never just sliced uh yep. eating frozen, frozen bananas. Yes. bananas just sliced. Yes. So we're gonna have to try that, yes, uh Jody. Absolutely. Appreciate yes. that. Oh, um, we had comments coming in. Yes. Someone says, I yes, love we, Japanese oh, minstie. Yes. I love Japanese sweet potatoes oh, with yes. strawberries. Amazing. Yes. That is cake. Yes. Now that's strawberry shortcake yes. right there. The Japanese yes. sweet potato with, with strawberries. strawberries. Oh, Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah, Queen so, made this uh, chocolate balsamic um, yam sundae. Yam sundae. And with, it yeah. was, it's with the strawberries. It's uh, chocolate uh, balsamic uh, vinegar yes. and also Japanese sweet potatoes. And they are amazing. Um, it's amazing, they are amazing with nice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yep. it is amazing. Yeah, yes. we appreciate that. Okay, you want to go ahead on yes, to the next let's slide? Hit number four. All let's right, hit number four. so let's yes. say, um, sorry, that's we okay. got this new, we got app, a new app, so we, we're figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. Okay, yeah, and we are getting let's there. hide this. Okay, yes. so All let's right. go ahead on to the let's next get to slide. Four. So, yeah, what's what's myth? So, four? eat fruit, myth right. four, myth four, eat me in moderation. Okay? okay, so in moderation, everybody say, Oh, you're good to go as long as we're eating in moderation. Okay, uh, well, the National Institute for Health they did a study of about 68 almost 7,000 people, and what they did was they did this study over a five year period. Mm -hmm. They looked at people that allowed themselves just to eat whatever they wanted to eat in moderation, so they really didn't pay any attention to the type of food that they were eating, they were just eating a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. but over a five year period, they were 120%, their waist sizes grew 120% more than someone that ate whole food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over 120% bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. At that period of time. So um, the moderation really doesn't work. Okay. And you got to think about it. Um, Dr. Doug Lyle, he talks about the cram circuit. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get all into the cram circuit right now. But one thing I can tell you is that when you start limiting and going towards more whole food, your plant body, based. right, mm -hmm. plant-based food, your body actually, what it does, it balances and equalizes itself out, okay, to look for that food. As soon as, as soon as you eat something that's outside of that, something that's more hyperpalatable, it takes your threshold level much higher, back up again. So now your body is asking and craving and looking for that particular food because it's hyperpalatable. Mm -hmm. Your brain loves it because your dopamine is going crazy. So what happens is, is you reset your sensors every time you do a cheat meal or every time you just say, oh, I'm going to eat a little bit of this. Now, you must understand that you can sit back and eat two pounds of broccoli right now, okay, and then go grab your Snicker bar. And guess what? You just went over your probably caloric intake for the day. So you've had like two or three of these Snickers in you. You said, but I ate my broccoli, but I'm just going to eat one of these in moderation. OK, it constantly resets your system and it throws your system out of whack. Your system don't know. It does understand and knows what the broccoli is, but it's totally confused when it eats the Snicker bar because it's trying to feel like, OK, I got the chocolate. Now, the hedonic system. Remember, we talked about that once before. The hedonic system kicks in because it loves it. It wants pleasure. It wants that dopamine hit. It loves all of that. So it kicks in and it goes back, you know, into a high level. OK, all over again. So the moderation does not work. OK, so that is a myth. People think that they can lose weight by eating in moderation. If I don't eat too much of this, um, then I should be OK. Now, Queen was talking about that book, the biometrics book by Dr. Barbara Rose. And it, it talks about that, you know, eating in moderation and what happens with the energy density of different foods and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, moderation, eating in moderation. What you want to do is you want to eat whole food. 
That's what you want to do. Whole food, food, man. That's the key. Majority. (laughs) The majority. Majority. If you can, 100%, great. If you can't and you find yourself on your journey, the more whole plant-based foods you eat, the better off off you will be, Um, the healthier you will be. Um, it will help help reset your, your, your taste buds, mm-hmm. right? For mm-hmm. a very hyper palatable food, you yes. start enjoying natural sweetness, natural savoriness yes. that you find in fruits and vegetables. Yes. So, um, the more whole foods, uh, plant based that right. you can add to your diet, yes. the better off you will be, yes. right? And yes. um, you'll find yourself enjoying those foods more than you did you know maybe the other um highly processed unhealthier foods That's but right. we just you know it's a journey and you gotta you have to make a deliberate decision mm-hmm. that you know what i'm going to choose this yes. over that yes and continue to do it yes you know i don't know some people say 21 days to take to create a healthy habit right. um you know but just being consistent being mm-hmm. conscious of right. making that Conscious decision. Yes. I'm going to choose this versus that, or I'm not going to bring that in my house because I know if I add, bring that, you know, calorie rich and processed food into my house, I can't resist it. So, yeah. um, so just make a vow to yourself. Mm-hmm. Don't put it in the house. Yeah. So you won't have to worry about moderation. Right. All you have is healthy food available at That's home, right. um, and that you, you know, you enjoy. So. And, and you know, best believe that your brain understands and knows that food is there. Oh, yeah. So don't sit there and think just because it's in there and you put it in the closet or whatever. <laughs> yeah. The whole time you put it in the closet, your brain saying it's in the closet. It's yep. in the closet. You know, I did a little test uh, a while ago on one of the other episodes. And what I said was, I said, OK, look, once your brain knows something and it learns something, you it won't unlearn. really forget it. Right. Mm-hmm. You can't unlearn it. So let me give you an, a, an example. Let me give you a quick refresher. Right. If you have a brother or sister, mother, daughter, whatever it is, try forgetting their name. And as soon as I say try to forget their name, the first thing you talk about was their name. Mm-hmm. Okay, try to forget what a bicycle looks like. As soon as I say bicycle, you started thinking about bicycle. Mm-hmm. So your brain is very smart. It's smarter than us. I'm telling you, you can't <laughs> outwit it. You can't say, hey, no problem. You can't just get a little dip on that. A little, all I want is two calories. No, you're going to get the whole full effect. Of what, right. <laughs> of what that caloric intake is That's from that right. item, just because you took a little nip off of it and you put the rest of it away, don't worry about it. You're going to come back and you're going to visit it again. Okay. Mm-hmm. So don't test yourself. Yeah. Trust what Queen was just saying. Yep. Keep it out of your house if you know you can't resist it. Yep. All right. And it's okay. All right. But the yep. better you all doing that, the better off you'll be. That's so true. Absolutely. So true. That's the truth. Yes. 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 If it's in your house, in it's your house, in your mouth. In your mouth. That yeah. ain't nothing but yeah. the truth. It's just a matter of time. It, why take I'm yourself through that torture? Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, you're like, man, okay, I did it. I did it. Yeah. You did it for the day, but the heck comes tomorrow. And you got to do what? You're going to wake up thinking about that exact item. Mm-hmm. So all day you stressing, trying to figure out. If I got enough willpower, mm-hmm. okay. So yeah, yep. so I tell you, so eating in moderation, we already know it don't work. Don't work. It don't work. Yeah, eating in moderation don't work. So number all five. Right. All right. So where's number five? So we got the biggest loser up there. Myth number five: slow weight loss is best. Okay. And the reason why they said this is a myth is because we live in a society in a time frame now where everybody want it fast. Okay. Now you must understand that you didn't gain the weight fast. Right. But we want to lose it fast. We want to get on something quick. Something that's going to take 10 or 15 pounds off us in a week. Now, regular studies said that um, that the actual weight loss, true weight loss should be anywhere between one to two pounds a week. OK, one to two pounds a week is should be good weight loss. You losing five, 10, 15, 20 pounds in a week. Now, there are people that, that are super obese. OK, that are able to do that. OK. Uh, because your body is trying. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I was just going to say that. Yep. Just like Queen said, they have the weight to lose. Number one. Number two, um, their body is trying to uh, reequilibrate itself. It's trying to get back to its normalcy where it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they'll start shedding that weight extremely fast. OK. Um, but think about it. Right. Slow weight loss is best. Most people. It is best. Most people want to lose it quickly. OK, they want to lose it fast, but you didn't gain it fast. Right. Um, so, you you know, most, in most cases now, in most cases, I'm not going to say in all cases, but in most cases, um, you're going to lose it slow and slow is best. Slow is steady. Mm-hmm. OK, slow and steady. That's the mm-hmm. way to go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. OK. So true. All right. Awesome. Let's roll, Queen. 
Let's roll. Let's see what we got for number six. All right. Here come number six. This guy looks, he looks in, enticing there, Tony. <laughs> Weight loss number six. You'll always be hungry. That's because why? You're trying to do what? Portion control, right? You're trying to, you're trying to limit your caloric intake through portions, how much you're eating. And then you're not eating what? Energy. Um, you're not eating nutrient. foods that's nutrient dense. dense. Thank you, Queen. High in fiber. Mm -hmm. That's right. High in fiber, right? Mm -hmm. The foods has no nutrition in it. And remember the definition of no nutrition? No nutritious food is called junk food. Okay. If it doesn't have the nutrients in it to supply your body for life and longevity, then it is considered junk food. Okay. And yes, you can eat tons of that food and be hungry. Okay. Or you could try to get on this restrictive diet where you're eating grapefruit all day long and grapefruit is a fruit and it is good for you. However, it's not the only food that you need in order to survive. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need other foods to survive as well. All right. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you try to get to these fad, fancy, dancy diets to lose a hundred pounds in a week, then you probably are going to be hungry. Mm -hmm. But the hungry they're talking about is not just the hungry from um, the amount of food you're eating, but you're hungry also for nutrition. Mm -hmm. You're hungry also for the uh, size receptors. You're hungry also for the satiation or the satisfaction of the food. Mm -hmm. So you're also hungry for those things, okay? And then also sometimes you can be hungry, but you're not hungry, you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. So you want to be careful with that, okay? If you're not getting the proper amount of water intake, uh, because our bodies are mostly made of water. Mm -hmm. So if you're not getting the amount of water that you need, it would give a hunger effect. Mm -hmm. But in turn, actually, you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That All is right. so true. Yeah. Um, Misty Blue says, um, Dr. Furman says, no hunger if you eat nutrients. And that is true. That's true. Calories don't cut off yeah. the hunger drive. Yeah. Nutrient density does, right. right? So that's why it's so important that we eat foods that are high in nutrients, yes. right? Yes. High in fiber, just so happen to be all plant-based food, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, and you get the nutrients. The nutrients is what fuel our, our you know, keep our engine, should I say, tuned up, right? right? right. But when you eat nutrient-dense food, the hunger pains go away yes. right and we get yes. full yes so um so i love 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 just um eating for um health and it just so happened the food tastes good yes and when i'm finished with my meal i'm full yes. right and 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 i'm getting the nutrients and that i need them. and, and i'm getting get the them. calories that i need so right. it's just a win-win win, 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 win all the yes. way around yes um i think i saw that's another question. question that's a great question okay yeah, uh, angela. Hey, angela hey angela how you doing <laughs> great <laughs> it's good to see you angela yeah so get to the well what are your thoughts on use of air fryer by those who need to lose weight mm. i often think they are removing too much water out of the food thus more calories i agree totally i agree with that totally. um you know because when you're air frying your food mm -hmm. you're really pulling the moisture out that's right and or the water mm -hmm. um and water is what and fiber with water brings right. the ball right that's right and that helps fill, fill us, us up, up. so right. um when you eat drier food you mm -hmm. tend to eat, eat more, more of it. Mm -hmm. because it's lacking the water mm -hmm. um bound with the fiber which right. helps fill you up which right. helps you to eat less calories mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. okay that's right. so um i know when i uh was down to my lowest 129 i was not eating a lot of dry food right all my food was wet right. you know whether it was you know um i don't know uh and that, that included dried fruits yeah too. no no like you raisins, definitely know dry fruits, like that, right. everything fresh fruit right. salad right. soup that's correct um uh if i had some um potatoes they were you know maybe mashed potatoes right. mashed but they weren't air fried right um everything right. was wet That's um correct. and um and so yeah i agree angela totally. i think if totally. you're in that pro in that stage of your journey where right. um you are trying to lose weight mm -hmm. then i think excuse me i think air frying um your food which is drying your food out yes um can be somewhat of a hindrance right. um now i do understand sometimes i know for me i was a crunch person so mm. i had to have crunch 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 right um, but I, you know, I got over it. It took yes. me some time, um, yeah. but you do miss the 
sometimes the crunch or mm-hmm. textures of certain foods. Right. Um, so that's how we want to air fry everything. Sure. Um, but yeah, I agree. I think that when you're on, the, you know, depending, and it's different for everybody. Sure. But um, when you really want to tighten down those screws, mm-hmm. I think um, the less, dr- the drier your food is, the more you will probably tend to eat in calories. Right. So um, it's always best to eat wet food um, yeah. when you want to fill up and mm-hmm. eat less calories. Now, yeah. also, you want to think about when someone is doing transitions, when, when mm-hmm. you're transitioning from the standard American diet, I think the air fryer is a great, great oh, yeah. segue. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you won't lose as much weight, but you will in turn lose some weight mm-hmm. because you're not eating the full caloric intake that you was eating with normally oils. with the oils and the salts mm-hmm. and all these other additives that was to the food. So I think it's a great segue for someone that's transitioning and their goal is to lose weight. Right, okay. Right. Um, but we all know, and I'm sure you probably agree too, Angela, that the air fryer is the healthier version um, mm. of that transition. Right. Okay. So if you look at, if you want to have a crunchy potato, you know, versus, I, don't, I haven't had really a, a McDonald's crunchy mm-hmm. fry, but mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you want something in that in that arena, then probably the air fryer, because we're eliminating the oil, uh, would be a healthier. Uh, transition for that person and that person will probably lose weight. So we're right. getting into like what Dr. John McDougal says, you know, um, if I have to put something on the table in order for you to eat it, well, let me let me make it for you and fix it and prepare it for you right. in a healthy way. And if you want to add a little salt to it, I don't recommend it, but it's there for you. I'd rather you do that than to cook it with the salt in it and all these other oils and all mm-hmm. these other stuff for satisfaction. Yeah. Um, so it's more important for us to do that. Not, not, and like I said, that's within in transition. Right. Yeah. Right. Transition. So. so, so yes, you know, but I just say, Hey, as long as you're cooking without oil, you're yeah. doing four yeah, times man, better. Man. How many, how many calories was a teaspoon? Oil it was like is five or 10,000 yes, yes. 10, 10, calories yes. or something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. You just oh, add four it was, times. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, the 100 amount. the yeah. amount of calories yeah. that you could if you just ate that food just by itself it it. and yeah. air fry it so yes. Yes. so absolutely. yeah so um absolutely. but you learn question. yeah that was Great a good question, question. and you yes. learn these things as you go in your yes. journey those are little tweaks you can do mm-hmm. um but i would just mm-hmm. say if you're just jumping in and trying to be healthy yes. air fry your food yeah. you know down to your last five 10 pounds, yeah. 15, give it a and maybe down. no air frying. Right. You know, everything you just go. wet, um, that go. type of thing. So, good awesome. question, Angela. Great, great Thank Angela. you. Thanks for bringing that up. Thank you. Yes. All right. Always so, let's, let's I, and I'm going to say this. Yep. Yes. I'm going to say this. When we went whole food plant based, and now seven, eight years in, right. I have never been hungry. I'm right. always satisfied. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I'm enjoying my food. Yeah. It tastes good. I'm yeah. full. Yeah. You know, so I never. Yeah. Um, experience hunger mm-hmm. um, since being plant based. Mm-hmm. I can say that when I was doing other fad diets, that right. I, you know, I was always sort of kind of hungry, hungry, but I had satisfied. To, I had to white knuckle it, you right. know, and just say you can do Bad this and it, will yeah. and willpower and all mm-hmm. that, and it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I can only speak from my experience. So, right, right. So yes. And then our plates, we we can fix a plate at home, and we eat one plate and we're full. Yeah. You know, with the mm-hmm. volume of food that we eat, um, mm-hmm. it, it's amazing. It is amazing. So what, what's number seven, Queen? No pain, no gain. OK, uh, people feel like that if they don't feel any pain or anything like that, that they're not making progress and losing weight. That's not true. That's totally a myth. Um, it, you don't have to go through severe pain in order to lose weight. OK. And they're talking more here specifically towards exercise. Um, you really don't. You really, really don't. Please don't do that. If you're in pain like that, you need to quit. You need to look at something different, do something different, because there are other ways that we can lose weight with exercise without pain. So the old saying, no pain, no gain, definitely is a myth. OK, you don't need to go that route in order to lose weight. Let's get the next one. Courtney. All right. So uh, this one here is waking up earlier. You got to wake up earlier to hit the gym. OK. Um, now, in this study, it was saying that people were saying that they get up earlier in the morning and it's better for them. They can get it. Um, but in the study, they were saying that um, that's not totally necessary. Um, matter of fact, they, they kind of was against getting up early, working out early. Um, now, I don't feel that way. Um, and that's a personal preference. Um, you need to figure out what's best for you. Some of us are morning people. Some of us are not. 
Um, actually, when I work out in the morning, it I, it really gets my body rejuvenated, ready to go to work. OK, what they were saying is, is that you should um, save that energy for work and then transition into a workout afterwards um, in the study. But um, like I said, I kind of beg to differ, but that's a personal choice. Um, I, but anyway, in this one here, you no, know, you don't have to get up earlier to work out in order to lose weight. OK, um, some people say that you can tap into your metabolism. Some research say you can tap into your metabolism better by working out in the morning, taking your thermostat level higher, because we know once we start working out, our body temperatures raise and everything else comes into effect. Um, so you will burn more calories. People always say, well, do you eat something prior to working out on everything? So um, when you wake up in the morning, depending on how late you ate the night before, you may have already digested all of that food if you're not eating too late. Um, some people that wake up in the morning, oh, I'm not really hungry. That's probably because you're nibbling or you're eating late in the evening. Um, so you can go and do a workout. Um, so I've heard mixed emotions. You have to really know yourself. You have to have that intuitive thinking of your body, how it's effective, how you feel, if you're hungry, what do you eat if you do something quick, something that's going to give you some energy. But that's truly a myth. You don't have to get up early to hit the gym. I like to do it early in the morning because that's my time. It's not affecting any time with the family um, or anyone else for that matter, because everyone is asleep. So mm -hmm. that's just my personal choice, though. So what we have here, Queen, number eight. Is we at number eight? Number nine. Good. OK. Diet sodas will help you lose weight. How many of you know that that's definitely a myth? OK, so they were saying, yes, you know, we can get diet sodas and that's going to help us to lose weight. Um, actually, it's. <laughs> It's shown in the study, research study, that, that the sugar and everything that's in the diet sodas is actually more harmful to you and other additives are more harmful to you than the regular soda, right? Um, so you want to be careful. So you can sit back, you see someone, they order a, a Big Mac meal and then they order a Diet Coke. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if this just because they like the taste of it or mm -hmm. what, but it, it, or if it's a psychological thing, they feel like, okay, I'm eating this burger, but I ain't drinking a whole lot of Coke where you have just as much calories in the coke or in that not necessarily coke now in the diet drink then you do a regular drink okay so um no that is a myth diet soda will not help you lose weight okay so let's go to the 10th one queen the 10th and final one this is just from this study okay um this is one i like too uh weight loss supplements don't work uh weight loss supplements do work okay so um, a lot of people don't think they are. But if you look at that, you see you have some vegetables there and you also have some herbs that look like there's some ginger over there. And they're all crushed up into that little bowl, that vial right there, because what they do, they make these supplements and things from fruits and vegetables. OK, so why not go third party, go first party, eat the actual fruit or the vegetable and uh, you limit yourself from from messing with the supplements now. The supplements do work, okay, because they suppress appetites. They do all these kind of things. But let me ask you a question. Do you think appetite suppression is, is, is healthy for you? Um, your body actually uses appetite to nourish itself, okay? So don't get caught up on, oh, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Just because you're not hungry don't mean you don't need the nutrients, okay? So the, the appetite is there for your body to get the nutrients that it needs to survive. So don't get that twisted, okay? It's really easy to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm a suppress my appetite, but that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing, okay? It's not good. Yes, you'll lose weight, but hey, I'm gonna tell you, you take drugs, you lose weight, okay? And you, you, be, you can drink alcohol totally and just go consume, become an alcoholic, you're gonna lose weight, okay? So all of that stuff helps you to lose weight, you know? All the, all of that does. Now, supplements, they do work, okay? They will help you to lose weight, but is it sustainable? What else is it messing up in your body? So you want to be careful, okay? You want to be careful. This picture here states it all. You have the vegetables, you have the herbs there on the side, eat those and just go and leave the supplements alone, okay? You'll be okay. People say, oh yeah, but, but I'm supplementing my body because there's something that I don't need. Most people that say that, it's because you're on a standard American diet and you're not feeding yourself the nutritious foods that you need anyway. So yes, in that aspect, you need to supplement, okay? If you're doing that. But if you're in whole foods, then you're gonna have the, the nutrients and everything in it that you need to survive, okay? It's not gonna be out of balance. It's just like somebody say, hey, I gotta get my protein. 
I never heard about it being protein deficient in America. Okay, I just haven't heard it. If you're eating food, if you're eating the right food, you don't hear about protein deficits in people. You just don't hear it. Okay, but that's one of the main things people say why they eat what they eat because I got to get my protein in. I got to get my protein in. Okay, so so anyway, but anyway, I don't babble enough about that. Okay, so those are the 10. Okay. Those are the 10 from Better Nutrition. Okay, so you may have heard of others and seen of others, and I know that there are others out there. And I just wanted to bring some of those to you this evening, some of the top 10 from Better Nutrition. Now, this is not from Will and Faith. This is from Better Nutrition, mm -hmm. the top 10 myths to uh, weight loss. We just wanted to talk about it a little bit and bring out some of the things that you may have heard um, other people say. And then you also have comments yourself. So thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. Yes. yes. So that was good, yes. um, Dr. Will. I know. And I can only speak from my own experience. Yes. Um, I lost my first 30 40 50 oh, pounds yeah without any exercise, no exercise. i used to yes. think you had to exercise in order to lose weight that's right and i began eating more plants yes and the weight just started to come off mm -hmm. naturally mm -hmm. and of course as i began to drop the pounds i started feeling better yes having more energy yes. and i wanted to move i wanted to exercise Absolutely. so um so that was i realized that okay i don't have to exercise to lose weight now exercising is is it's like beneficial totally. to our overall health yes. relieving stress building bones yes. strengthening our muscles you know it's just good for your heart your lungs it's good for your body yes, right absolutely. um but uh exercise is not a catapult a catapult or a main factor in losing weight right okay right. so that was one of the first myths that i learned in my journey and mm -hmm. we all like i said all of our journeys are different yeah, some people yeah. need to exercise first so yes. they before they start making real changes on their plate yes but um someone said earlier you cannot outwork, cannot outwork a, bad a bad diet, diet yeah. right yes so always think about that um always just be mindful that your health is your wealth dr it will is. this is some good just a good reminder on myths because yes. sometimes we fall into those, those traps and believe in those mm -hmm. traps mm -hmm. and you know you got to take a pill mm -hmm. for this and a mm -hmm. pill and a supplement mm -hmm. for this supplement yes. but you know if you stop doing all that then what that's right. right. That's right. So, um, but we all can eat some fruit. Absolutely. And we all can one, eat a. You can right because Queen she actually put together a great energy drink for me, you mm -hmm. know, and it was almost like beet boost. Mm -hmm. Um, because I used to drink the Energize from Beach Body, mm -hmm. and it gave me the energy. I thought, you know, mm -hmm. it was a psychological, and I was like, oh yes. And then Queen made this beet boost for me mm -hmm. out of beets natural beets and uh, uh it was like green tea mm -hmm. and unsweet green tea no caffeine in it and dates, and, dates. Mm -hmm. and man I, I would i would drink that beet boost and i'll tell you the truth it helped me to push through thresholds that i didn't think i could push through mm -hmm. uh without the energizer and all of these other uh supplements c4 and all of this other stuff that i was taking at one point in my life so mm -hmm. it was amazing and it was natural Mm -hmm. It was a natural feeling. And, and I can't even explain it to you, but it, it's just you hit a threshold, you get to this wall and you can't break through the wall. But that gave me just enough to get through. And once I got through that wall, it was like I was rejuvenated and had more energy to go. It was mm -hmm. it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So that was amazing news that yes. I needed uh, to hear yeah. again and be reminded. Me too. Um, and I hope that each of you we're able to find some news you could use yes. um, this evening. Again, just talking about myths. Yes. Um, let me see. Do you, do you uh, someone had a question? Let me see. Yeah, that's why I wanted to lower I'm it sorry. down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, we I'm had sorry. No we questions. had it in one spot, and so we didn't see. You. Okay, I'm sorry. We're yes. using a new app. So, yeah. Misty, do you, do you both do vitamins or supplements to add for health? Um, Misty, I personally don't. Yeah. I do my B12 yeah. uh, when I think about it, and <laughs> right. and my uh, vitamin D supplements. Yes. Um. Uh. But other than just taking um vitamins, uh, I yes. I personally don't. Um. Right. 
But you know, I think it's a personal preference. I it think is. that's between you, yes, and your doctor. Your doctor, you yes. know, I'm not gonna say yes. don't do it. That's right. that's just you know, it's a personal preference right. preference based on your situation at hand. Right. Um, but I personally don't. No, I don't. Um, but I'm not against it. You no. know, if you need not, it, you, if need you need it. it. You need if it. if yes. you don't, you don't. You right. know, but I know we all need. B12 yes. and sunshine. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Or if you can't go outside, can't do the sun, vitamin D. Yes. So um those two I do promote. Yes. Um, because I know we all just need those. You can't get it from food, right? right? That's right. So um, so I do promote those two, but personally, I personally do not um right. take uh you know vitamins. Um, right. but that the, the don't mean that you shouldn't, right? Okay, so right. um, but B12 and vitamin D. Yeah. I'm all for it. All I'm for all for it. it. All for it. Yes. yes. So uh let me see. We have any more comments. Uh thank you guys so much for the comments. You yes, know, yes, yes, yes. This was a great show. I wanted us to be dialogue, more back dialogue and forth. back and forth. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. what it's all about. Misty, you know? I think she said, Can you send me the recipe? For the the beet boost, the beet yes, boost. yes. I'll, I'll pull yes. it up, I'm and it was this. basically just green tea, mm -hmm. some beets, mm -hmm. and some dates yep. with probably a little bit of lemon juice yep. in it. Matter of fact, I think it was. Yeah. Yep. So maybe a uh, half a cup of um beets. Yeah, we pull it Some out. lemon. I'll find it, and uh, maybe I'll blog on it. Um, uh, nice. but um, when Will was working out really, really hard, and. Yes. And we were beach body, you know, um, people at one time. Oh, yeah. And I just flipped over one day and looked at the, uh, the ingredients. ingredients. And we had just became plant based. And I was like, okay, well, we I got lemon, I got, I got some beets, you know, I can use some dates. Uh, I said, all this other stuff that got here, I can't pronounce. I'm not gonna worry about it, but. I know my body can recognize some dates, right. lemon juice, and some beets, right? right? That's right. So, um, and we we whipped it up in some green tea. Yes. And I think it was green tea in it or something. So I went to so I got some green tea and whipped it up. And Will was, oh my he was like, oh my God, Queen, I can't believe I like this better than what I was yes. buying, you know, yes. off the shelf. So, yes. um, so anyway, let's, let's keep it simple. Eat yeah. whole foods. Eat whole Everything food. we need yeah. comes from the comes earth, from the right? Earth. And does. the produce aisle. Yes. So, um, so yes, Misty. So I hope I answered your question, yeah. Misty. Yeah. Uh, Definitely. let me see. Can you send me the recipe? If we have any more comments, uh, thank Jody, you thank so you much. so much. Always thank informational you. You and so inspirational. Well, you. that's what it's all about. Thank you. Um, we, you know, you can't keep all this goodness to Please yourself, right. right? You got to share, share with others. Yeah. Isn't that what we do naturally as human beings? When we find something good, we want to share, share with with others. Other. So that's, right. that's what we're here for. That's um, right. and you all being here inspire that's and motivate us. us. So yes. we appreciate you, thank you so much. Both um thank all you. of you all for joining us. Um, Tom, thank you so hey, much. Tom. We appreciate you, your excellent friend. show tonight. Thank you, Again, friend. I'm hoping everyone got some news that you news. can use yes. and apply in your yes. in your healthy lifestyle walk. That's right. Anything else you have, Dr. Will? I'm good. All right, I'm great. Good. Well, sorry we went over a little bit. That's all right. Yeah. Well, we're about to bring I like the dialogue though. Definitely. We're going to bring nice. it to a close because yes. I always say time is money it and is. money is time. So yes. we appreciate you all. For joining us, my Thank sister, so she much. joined. Thank hey, you. Sis. Thank you for joining Thank us, sis. We appreciate that. Yes. And just always remember, always remember this. Um, our health, your health is your wealth. It is. Okay. It is. So get to the root That's right. of obtaining and, and sustaining, sustaining it yeah. by first of all, making those healthy choices. That's right. To create healthy habits. habits. That's right. And those healthy habits become your healthy yes. lifestyle. All That's right? right. Always remember that. Mm -hmm. Every, choice Every choice we make. Yes. On a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. make a difference. Make a difference. All right? right. So go ahead on and eat more plants. Do it. As you're going Do along it. this healthy journey. Do it. Right. Move your body. That's right. Stress, Stress less, less. Yes. And love, love more. more. That's all right. right. That's on what that at. note, that's what it's we will see Much you love, all guys. on the next yes. go round. We'll be live on Saturday. Absolutely. Saturday at yep. 7 a.m. Eastern yeah. Standard. Sharing, yes. uh, doing a fun in home workout. So go on, on join us then. Be tight. And next Wednesday, I'm thinking about doing a cooking demonstration. Yes. So yes. you guys uh, leave some comments below. Tell me what you. You know, want me to demonstrate, yes. um, or I just may surprise you guys. But yeah. we'll appreciate each and every one of you for joining us. I think the Have brownies a brownies will be awesome. Kale brownies? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll you see. You know that's the sweet tooth, right? That's right. That's right. 
So on that note, you all take care. Take care Continue guys. to love on yourself. Yes. All right. <laughs> Continue to take care of yourself. And we'll see you all see you guys the next time. time. Take right. care. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> oh, my God.